today. Today uh, we're going to be setting uh, a ra uh, some coyote snares out. So in order to do that, we've been baiting this pile for a couple weeks, and we just found a deer in a road by Belcaris yesterday. So we're going to use that as our bait. So we put our deer here, and we're gonna, there's a lot of coyote tracks in the area. So there's lots of coyotes in the area. We're going to set three uh, coyote snares just today. So uh, the type of trap we're going to use is called uh, a ram snare. This is what you call a power ram. It's a big spring and when the snare is attached to it, it opens up and makes the snare real tight against the animal for a quick humane kill. This is our safety. Always about safety. You put it on there, that way it doesn't go off by mistake. This is the snare we'll be using. This is a coyote, set, coyote size snare where we put it onto this thing here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through this circle here and there's a there's a lock. We're gonna hook it on to this uh, shackle. And we're just gonna pull it around so it's tight against the side here. So it sits on there like that. That keeps it attached to this, to this snare. And on, on, on here, you see a little knock. We're gonna put this bead on this side of the knock. It's ready to go. When we're, when we're gonna set it on a tree over there, we're gonna take the safety off and take this safety off. So we'll squeeze it, pull this off and tie it to a tree. It'll be sitting against a tree like this and the snare will hang over the trail and hopes that we'll get the coyote to come through there. And I hope it comes to the bait. That's one of the traps we'll be using. Okay, uh, this is the second type of snare. This is a regular snare. It's coyote strength gauge. So we're gonna do it the same way. We just open up our snare, set up to the coyote size. Coyote size, you're gonna want it to be about a bit bigger than their head, probably about that size right there. That way they go through and they pull. We're gonna be attaching it to a tree, same way, same way we do a rabbit snare. We'll be making a, a, a tunnel for them, attaching it above the above the trail, hope they run through it. Okay, now this is the third trap that we set up today. This is what we call a foothold. These ones are, it's a Duke 550. It's um, up to date standards, not illegal to use. In order to set this trap, you gotta squeeze both sides down and pull it over. It's kind of a hard trap to set, so I'm getting help after we cut here. And we'll we set it up along the trail, cover it up, and hope that we get a foothold through there. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna use this gauge, this strong wire. So we secure the traps to the trees so that way they can't pull away in case they don't die right away. So we're gonna get down to the area, put up our set up our snares, and we'll be right back. So what we did was the two of us to, for safety reasons guys squeezed the top we released the one safety which locked this little piece into where it's supposed to be so coyote's going to come through lift this up pull it out and it's just going to pop open once we take this off so now we're going to set it we're looking for funnels where they're coming in and with the snow we could actually see now that there's tracks and plus we got a trail camera set up just off the bait pile so we got a good idea of where they're coming in and going out. So now we're just gonna put this in here. Ah, it's caught on the tree. Mm. Move this. There's still safety, but still move with caution. I'm just gonna rest it up on this tree here, covering this entrance. You gotta twist them around sometimes to get them to fit the way you want them. Take some time. Should be enough for him to. Okay, so after a little bit of time, we got it resting on a tree nicely. It's kind of blended in with the tree. I got this little twig just holding it in position, so it's going to come through either way and tighten, pull it off, and the spring should go off. Now we're going to take the safeties off. You just grab the trap, remove it, squeeze it. There we go, safety's off. That trap is loaded and ready to go. 
we're gonna take some wire now and kind of go back to a thicker tree it's not this little one here but there's a nice tree here wrap the, the tie down wire around it I guess tied in a knot too. And these traps are powerful, like you could accidentally catch deer in them and everything. But with all the coyotes around here, I don't think there will be much deer around. but it won't pull those double knots out. Okay. Quite a nice coyote trail underneath the big pasture fence here. So we're gonna set a hanging snare through the fence there. All we used was a little piece of wire to hold the snare so it sits right above where we want them to come through. Make it about the size of a coyote. Set it height. tricky with these ones because they just keep sliding. They gotta kind of bend it a little bit. There. Okay, now we're gonna take another piece of wire. It's probably gonna, I should have tied it off first. It's probably gonna, should I tie it to this one here? Or you to the wire? Is it a fence? You went just to the wire. The wire is strong. This is just to hold him because we've caught one before where it got too far down around his waist and he was still alive when we got here. That's where you always carry a 22 with you when you come to check your trap line because you don't know what you might have. You don't have cougars around this area, but you never know. Okay, now by doing that, it moved this, so you got to reset your trap. There we go. Now I'm gonna take some sticks and try to make a little bit of a funnel, but you don't want to move too much. Because we were told that coyotes are very visual. They see if anything's changed, they don't come in that way. Just to kind of block, there's a stick on this side. Just put one on this side to kind of block the, they don't see all that cable. There you have your second coyote thing. Okay, this is the third trap, the foot foothold. So it's all set, ready to go. The idea is the animal runs through there, hit that, catch your trap. It's a humane trap in the sense that it doesn't have barbed or uh, sharp points. So we, if we do catch one in here, it will be alive when we come here. So by law, we gotta check our traps every 48 hours, which we will do. We don't want no animal suffering for it, unnecessary. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in the middle of the trail here. Then I'm going to get some fresh snow and okay. cover up the area because you don't want them to smell too much because they'll go running by there and if they smell us on it, they're going to stop and go around it. So we're going to cover some snow and hope that animal goes through there. But also with the trap too, can catch deer as well, which is why we'll check all the time. So, we're back. Way high, way high, way high, way high.